So five barley loaves and two fish. That's all the boy had to offer. Five barley loaves and two fish. Now barley loaves, are, they're not tasty like wheat. They were food for peasants. The loaves were small, smaller than this, maybe as big as your fist, like a dinner roll. Five barley loaves and two fish, enough for a family to have one meal. That's all the boy had to give to Jesus. 5,000 men, not counting women and children. That's how many people showed up hungry. Imagine all the thousands of students from Oviedo High School and Haggerty High School in one cafeteria, lunchtime, hungry as locusts. The disciple Philip did the math. 200 days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. He looked at the books, looked at the crowd, looked at Jesus. Sorry, boss, it can't be done. There's never enough. There's never enough time, never enough money, never enough jobs with a living wage to provide for a family, never enough roads for all the traffic, never enough affordable housing, Never enough health care. Anyone can see that resources are limited. Sorry, can't be done. And fear is not far away. Fear. Faced with such overwhelming need, who wouldn't take a step backwards and, and tuck their lunch under their robe? So seeing the 5,000, not counting women and children, some might have said, boy, I hope they brought their lunches. Others might have said, I hope they don't expect us to share our lunch. And for Jesus, sending away the five hungry 5,000 was not open to discussion. He simply said, lunch is on us. <laughs> then Jesus took the boys five loaves, gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to those who were reclining and also as much of the fish as they wanted. Just like that. We do not know how Jesus fed the 5,000, not counting women and children, with only five loaves and two fish. We only know that Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and gave them to the people, and there was more than enough. Take, give thanks, Give it all away. The same words at Mass. We do not know how the bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ through the power of the Spirit. It just does. We do not know how God the Father raised Jesus from the dead. We just know he did. And in doing so, he destroyed the power of fear. He destroyed the power of selfishness destroy the power of death. After communion, we have a, a missionary speaker, a special speaker, Monica from Miami, and she will tell us about victories over fear, victories over selfishness, victories over death in the Dominican Republic and Haiti, their mission work they are doing. The Lord who saw the 5,000 and said, lunch is on us, has won the victory. The gospel is not about sharing, some for you, some for me. It's not about sharing. It's about trusting the Lord with all you have, even if it's only five barley loaves and two fish. He can do miracles with your body or loaf. All you have to do is put it in his hands. What barley loaf does Jesus want from you?